The main sport event of the summer became the World University Games. Thousands of athletes from all over the world came in Kazan for this event, which is not surprising. The University Aid is the second largest multi-sport event after the Olympic Games, where the sport elite is attempting to get. The inclusion of Sambo in the program of the competition was a real success of our Sambo community. The festive atmosphere began in the airport already, where a cute mascot figure of the games greeted everybody arriving in Kazan with smile. Well, here begins our journey and immediately we gain new impressions of this magnificent new airport. I believe that Kazan will surprise us with the holiday itself and with the holiday arranged by the Sambists. We heard that a lot of things had been built in Kazan, so let the sportive objects be the first thing we'll begin our journey with. Finally, here's our home, Tatneft Arena, where the most interesting Sambo events will be held during the next three days. My little camera will help me and my friend Evgeny Petrov to show you the most important moments. And now we'll move to the entrance and try to show you how many visitors are eager to get to the stadium. We'll talk to them and find out why they want to go to see Sambo, what's attracting them. Can we buy these flags? No, they are free. Are you going to the competition? Yes, of course. Why? Because we like it. What do you like? Sambo. Do you know what are you going to watch? Sambo? What is it? Fighting? We help to organize the Olympic Games in Sochi. We want to see how the Sambo University is organized. Skiing is fighting, skating is fighting, Sambo is fighting. We are all our colleagues. Wrestling is an interesting sport. What kind of wrestling? Sambo? Do you know what is it? Yes, my friend is Sambo Master. Are you a sportsman? Former sportsman. We go to Sambo. Why Sambo? Because we do Sambo. Among the stars we know Kurjiev, Ali, Pavel Rumyantsev. Do you know any foreign stars? I want to go there to Sambo. Why the blonde girl want to go to Sambo? Don't shoot me. It's interesting, just interesting. We are from Gorky factory. There are 200 of us. Where are you giving the tickets? We really have so many people who want to go to Sambo. Kuresh Tatar wrestling and Sambo, they are very similar. So there is a lack of tickets for all of us. Why Sambo? It's sport for men. While the late spectators are hurrying up to take the rest seats on the very stage, we look at the large warm-up hall where one can meet participants of future battles on eight carpets. The atmosphere is quite concentrated, but quite cheerful nevertheless. The university is very important for us, as it's one of the key points on the way to entering the Olympic family. The participation itself is very important for us, as well as gaining the medal. We've brought our best sportsmen to Kazan. 
The majority is warming up before the competition, improving their sports skills. Many of them are gratefully receiving the uniform provided by FIAS. It goes like a usual warm-up loop, but we've seen some noises among the famous Sambists, although guys from New Zealand were working through sprints totally unlike beginners. It seems that the heads of delegations are nervous, not the participants at all. Three years ago, Vladimir Putin met with judo legend Yamashita, my teacher, and he promised to train the team. They are all Vladimir Putin Cup winners. I'm worried about how they will compete not only on the university, but also afterwards. It's very important for the development of Japanese Sambo, especially as a result of the university. And will there be a result? They surely will. There have already been medals at the Karlampiev tournament. The girl with gold, one with bronze, and two boys with third. We will try. The girls themselves were cheerfully stated that they would take at least five awards. <laughs> Meanwhile, the arena is already full with passions. Someone wins his first victories, someone is going through defeat. At the same time, on three mats of Tatneft Arena, the representatives of the 45 national federations from all the continents came together in the fight for the medals. The presence of so many spectators creates a positive atmosphere. I was here on the judo competitions and there weren't even 30% of spectators. Here the conditions are ideal. Probably both the organizing committee and FIAS tried to do their best. Indeed, two things were the most stucking. The tremendous atmosphere of the state and, first of all, the audience and wide geography of participants. In other words, see for yourself. Today's debutants, despite the short duration of fights and defeats, like this guy who flew to Kazan from the faraway El Salvador, yet are sincerely delighted to be participating in such a great Sambo event. We are very happy to be here among the high-leveled athletes and within this atmosphere. I had a very strong opponent from Tajikistan, he goes in for Sambo more than I, and it was not easy to deal with him. However, for me it's the first international event of this level, and I still do not have enough of experience. This is the first international competition for us, for our country. We still do not believe that it is possible. We are happy to be here, and we are grateful to FIAS. There were some personal sports drama. In the battle for the third place in the category up to 72 kilo, a Venezuelan female athlete fought on equal terms with a representative of Turkmenistan. The score was 1-1. The Venezuelan believes that she led it in this match for the bronze, and what was her disappointment when opponent was announced to be the winner. Behind the curtains she hardly checked tears. Don't worry, good work. But those lucky enough who have found themselves on the podium on the first day gratefully shared their emotions with the journalists. 
I'm very content to have won here not only the opponents, but myself too. That's my first time on such competitions, and I'm proud to have won this second place. I'd like to thank everyone who helped me to take part in these competitions. I'd like to say hello to my family and my friends. The feelings are a bit like the feelings during the first World Cup of 2008 I won. Everything is very exciting, as if I won for the first time. Yeah, it's the first university for me, so I'm really happy to take third place and excited. <laughs> you don't uh, cry that you uh, lost uh, quarter, uh, um, one final. Yes, Russian. Yeah, she's a good opponent. She even won, so I'm, I'm happy with my result. It's the first medal for Slovenia. Maybe some words about Kazan, about uh, where are you living uh, in the uh, camp? Uh, the village is really beautiful, it's full of athletes, it's really awesome. Uh, I was here in Kazan in December too, uh, in Sports World Cup, Students World Cup, yeah. Uh, so this is second time for me to be in Kazan. Uh, in these days, I have three days left, I will see the city and Enjoy. Yeah. <laughs> they say that the second place is the most offensive, but that's not true. Anyway, you return home with a medal. You can fight five times and get the fifth place. Of course, it's a pity that I lost, but I know where my mistakes are. I was injured, haven't fully recovered, and that was my main problem. It's my fourth universiate. I participated in three judo universiates earlier. I like it. Everything is sought out and great. I'm very happy that I won the gold. Thank you. I'm very happy. I want to thank all the spectators. I felt their support. I want to thank my parents too. My father was here by himself. My mother and sister watched my fight on TV. My family, my coach. I'd like to thank everybody. What can you say about these competitions? The University 8 is the second sport event after the Olympic Games. The level is really high. The bronze is okay. I want a success for Bulgaria. I'd say it's a bit like winning the gold. The bronze medal is a great success for me. It's great that Sambo is included into the University 8 and let it become Olympic too. I'm holding gold medal in my hands and that really pleases me. I'm going to hug my mom and to shake dad's hand. There are many fellows who came to support me. That forced me to do my best. I'd like to thank them all. I tell that Sambo doesn't yield to other kinds of sport in the respect of passions, of spectators' emotions.
Итак, состязания первого дня соревнований завершились. The pedestal emptied and the spectators are breaking up. And the main result is that Pavel Rumiantsov formed the originality of Russia, the hostess of the University 8. Because the Sambists did it and it's also a progress of FIAS. Он принес сотую награду в общекомандную э, копилку национальной сборной России, хозяйки универсиады. Так вот, уникальность в том, что сделал это тоже сам бис. И это тоже достижение нашей федерации, международной федерации самбо. Ну... Our evening is not over yet, and I invite all that couldn't have come here to walk around Kazan by means of our camera. Let's go! The quantity of spectators on the stadium embarrasses. Frankly speaking, we haven't seen anything like that in Sambo before. Let me show you. The 
Более того, удивляюсь, что болельщики... Pay attention to the favorites of this day. Anna Horitonova's Russian athlete match causes much interest. The current European champion is fighting very confidently against Japanese Takeda. I have to say that Japanese Sambis are showing their worst here. They already have gold of the first day. Anna's flash-like attack brings her win. Meanwhile, her main opponent in this weight class, the current world champion, Gulbadam Baba Muratova from Turkmenistan, also confidently moves to the podium. Within one of the meetings, she makes the Bulgarian athlete, Gringer, give up by means of a painful strike to the stop. We'd like to notice also the appearance on the Sambo carpet an Israeli athlete Eliza Schlesinger within the category under 64 kilo. Multiplay winner of the European and World Judo Championships lost the future Olympic champion at the last Olympics in London. You understand that Alice has enough authority. Moreover, she already Kazan won in the belt wrestling. This is a national Tata wrestling. And it seems she's not going going to stop at this point. In the men's competitions, we are following one of the brightest Russian Sambo athlete, Wally Kurzhev. Within this competition, he replaced his twin injured brother, world and European champion masterfully performs an arm lock on leg. The knee lever, making the Georgian wrestlers admit the defeat and continues his climbing in the tournament ladder. In the women's competition with the lightest category up to 52 kilo, it's time to decide who will compete in the final, the current world champion or European champion. Anna being the first number opens the score of the meeting. It's a very close fight and the world champion attacks. The Russian opponent catches her on own actions and immediately performs an arm lock. While leaders are consistently approaching their goal, let's see what is happening in the teams where Sambo has been present not so long ago. However, representatives of these national teams were also preparing for the Universiate and made a long way to come to Kazan. A guy from Nigeria meets a more experienced Bulgarian Sambo wrestler. The battle shows that African athlete lacks experience. But the participating in such competitions is already an experience, and despite the defeat, he's not upset. I'm from Nigeria and I've already held here the first match. I lost the Bulgarian. He was stronger. I came beforehand and I had time to prepare and concentrate myself. Actually, I really enjoyed it. Great hall, huge audience. I will be preparing for other competitions. I want to take part at the World Cup. The representative of New Zealand also had bad luck. His meeting with tall Sambo wrestler from Tunisia wasn't a success. Although, as it turned out for him, it wasn't the first Sambo competitions. We are from New Zealand. No, we have already participated in Sambo competition in Tallinn. Sambo is technically very rich, much more diverse than judo, for example. We used to go in for judo earlier. And here is one more Sambo debutant, Gabriel Say, an athlete from the Seychelles, in the first match beat the opponent from China. 
During an interview, he was trying to keep his emotions unlike the president of his federation. You won your first match at the University 8. How was it? The first match. You did it. Very excited. Of course, it's the first battle within the University 8. Whom are you meeting next? I don't know yet. <laughs> he came from the Seychelles. I'm the president of the Seychelles Federation of Sambo. I'm very happy because this is the first time we are participating in such competitions. We have already participated in Sambo competitions at the African Championships in Morocco. We won two bronze medals there. Now we'll try to win more. Among the fights for medals, we'd like to notice the quickest match of the University 8. This is the final in a weight category up to 52 kilo, and still Anna Haritonova, who made a brilliant display not only by her skill, but also by a phenomenal speed of ankle arm lock. It took her only 15 seconds to win, and it's not still a record of the competitions. My husband sat on the stand, and I wanted to please him and fans. To tell the truth, I was worrying in the morning. The first battle with a Japanese woman, the second with a Turkmen, the world champion. I concentrated myself, I wanted to win, and I promised to win gold to my husband. I was in Beijing in the Olympics, and I can tell that the organization wasn't different. Only the fact that students are struggling differs. The level of competition is very high. During the second day of competitions, the Argentines were remarkable. Alejandro Clara held a great tournament today. He lost only the finalist, Japanese Kota Ito, in the category of up to 74 kilo. In the fight for the bronze medal, the Argentinian beat a strong Uzbek wrestler Kurbatov, and to the delight of his seconds, and the president of Argentine Sambo opened the medal score. I'm very pleased with my work and with the fact that I was able to raise my country's flag on the podium. For me it means a lot, and I'm happy to have won a medal for my country. It's the first time during the history of the University 8, and this is a big plus. FIAS helped our team to come to Kazan. The tickets were very expensive, and FIAS paid the trip. Thanks to FIAS for helping us to be here, otherwise I wouldn't participate at all. The finalists in this category were Vali Kurjov and Japanese Kota Ito. It's interesting that before the competitions, these two were warming up close to each other in the gym. Who could have imagined that in a few hours they will determine the fate of the gold medal? Wally Kurjev became the winner. It's a special pleasure to watch the matches of the Russian athlete. Please do.
The final of women's 64 kilo category was not less striking. Alice Schlesinger held four scoring attacks and won a forceful victory with a score 12-0. The silver went to the Belarusian athlete Tatiana Tokts. I had some problems with Federation in an order not to get out of shape and to encourage my judo I fight. My trainer advised me that there must be no long breaks between the competitions. You participated in the belt wrestling. What's the difference? There's a big difference. There you always have to keep the belt grip. In Sambo you can hold wherever you want. What are your impressions of the University 8? It's amazing like at the Olympics. Everything is perfectly organized. Kazan is a beautiful city, I'm glad to be here. The last month I studied the rules of Sambo and I'm glad I was able to win the first place. It wasn't easy, I didn't even sleep at night. So many emotions. I was wondering how it would pass. But I'm glad that I had enough strength to win the first place. At the end of the second day of competitions, a great fierce reception was held. It attended by over 250 friends of Sambo, including distinguished guests, representatives of the government of the Republic of Tatarstan, presidents and team leaders of 45 national Sambo federations, judges and athletes. The government of the Republic of Tatarstan was represented by the first person, Prime Minister Ildar Khalikov. Reception was opened by FIAS President Vasily Shestakov. And for the International Sambo Federation, this is a historical event. Sambo is 75, and for the first time of its of this period, we take part in such competitions in the competitions of the world level. And it took us a lot of effort to hold the university here. And I can for sure say, and our family of Sambo can surely say that the holiday is set. <laughs> Let me invite to this stage the Prime Minister of the Republic of Tatarstan. And on his behalf, to say. Thank you. And to tell thank you to the President of the Republic of Tatarstan, Rustam Minihan. And to present this silver cup from our International Federation. The sign is University in Kazan, 2013, Russia. Dear friends, due representatives of the Federation of Sambo in 45 countries, on behalf of the President of the Republic, the government and myself, I cordially congratulate you with the historic event. This historic event, which will be described in books in 100, 200, 500 and 1000 years. There you'll find that in 2013, Sambo was included in the official program of the University. I want to congratulate you with this historical event, and I'm sure that uh, in 
100, 200 years, all books will write that in the historical 2013, Sambo was introduced as the official pro to the official program of the university. Это мировое признание, это признание государства, это признание спортивной федерации. This is the international acknowledgement, this is the governmental acknowledgement, and this is the acknowledgement of sporting federation. Я искренне желаю, чтобы это пребывание в Казани было не только приятно спортивным, но и было приятно культурным, и чтобы у всех вас возникало желание вернуться в Татарстан еще много-много раз. С праздником вас, Бейра Брэнсона! And I wish you all the chess team in Kazan will be not only in the way of sports, but also in the way of culture. And uh, I congratulate you again. I want to thank the President of the Republic of Tatarstan, the government for the holiday, which they arranged for all athletes around the world. And I wish to the International Federation of Sambo that this universiate would not only the first one, but not the last one. Two, that Sambo would be integrated in all the universities and Olympics. The evening ended very warmly, because true friends gathered together. All these people have much in common, first of all, the love and devotion to Sambo. These are the results of the second day of our Sambo University. By the final day of competition, the medal geography of the wrestlers had already been more than solid. 18 national federations have won bronze, silver and gold. The last day is probably the most exciting. Most of our colleagues have already finished. Their overflowing emotions of past battles fill them. And today's participants have yet to identify the strongest. In the warm-up hall has a working atmosphere. Everyone is trying not to miss anything. Every detail is important for the victory, because it's the universiate, the first universiate for Sambo, and we must try use the chance. Those who are going to hold the first fight at the universiate are warming up intensively. This is a representative of the Dominican Republic, Dillion Poo, and the second member of the New Zealand team, Reddy Vinay. We won't bother these guys, we'll have time to talk to them, especially since we met our friend Laura Fournier, finalist of the last European Championship, where she ambitiously said that this year she is going to win the gold of the Universiate and the World Cup. Unfortunately, the Universiate is not so widely covered in France as we'd like it to be. But all the Frenchmen who come here want to win medals, of course. I have very strong opponents. A Russian one who was the third on the World Championship, the same Romanian woman that I bet on the European Championship, an Italian and a girl from Belarusia. Meanwhile, the only American participant, a heavyweight Valizade Sofani, is trying to beat his opponent from the South Korea, Yong. The American got injured on his knee during the first fight with the Russian athlete Alexander Kuchumov. Despite the USA fan team's support, it's very difficult for him to struggle, but till now he's been brave. We have a possibility to talk to one more representative of the Pan-American continent, Sambo President of Venezuela. We are here due to FIA's help. They helped us to arrange the participation of our three athletes, and two of them were paid by our government. Of course, the participation is very important, but the result also is. If there is no result, then there is no work. 
The Venezuelan Federation is the first one to be admitted, legalized by the government of the country, the Olympic Committee. We are working in all the states of Venezuela with the youth and the adults. We are represented in all the competitions and we always get medals. Here we have one bronze, but of course we'd like to have a higher medal. But this is also a result and it's difficult. The organization is perfect. If there is a place where it's better, then I don't know about it. The transport, food, the stadium, everything is at high level. I talked to the representatives of many university federations. First of all, it's important to help Sambo not only in Venezuela, but in America in general. European federations are very well organized, but that's because Sambo is developed in Europe for a very long time. In America, we are just beginning and we have a problem with not legalized federations. We have to pay attention to the legal questions to be stronger. When we are together, we are stronger. The sportsman from Dominicana couldn't resist a more experienced Sambo athlete and is going to have a rest. The leader of female team, Laura Founier, beats a Bulgarian sportsman with an effective movement and continues her way to get the gold. Let's ask the island state representative about the impressions of the competition. It was very emotional. There were many people like on the World Championship. Many strong athletes from Europe. Kazan is a very big city, a very beautiful one. Everybody is trying to help. I want to go to the World Championship to St. Petersburg. Suddenly a famous athlete Natalia Kazantsova, world champion, appeared in our camera's focus. She came to the competitions with her child. He's just several months old, but he feels quite comfortable on the arena. He surely is a future Sambo world champion. <laughs> this is my son Yaromir. We are supporting Russia and especially Maria Moknatkina, who has to win today. Maria is really at her best today. It seems that she is trying to beat Anna Haritonova's record of 15 seconds win. This time Maria has beat the hopes for the gold of the Bill Russian representative. One of her opponents, Julia Aragazini, is losing the semi-final meeting to the Ukrainian Gaynudinova and she has only a chance to win the bronze. It's turn of the New Zealand athlete to show his best, but the Turkmen athlete's class is higher, despite the desperate resistance of Freddy Wiene. Don't we forget that guys from New Zealand are for the second time only on the Sambo competitions. It's obvious that the ex judice lets an arm lock pass, but it's also an experience. I liked it very much. It was hot. Unfortunately, my struggle was very quick. <laughs> the Lithuanian and Argentinian trainers are at the breaking point because it's a matter of university's bronze in female heavyweight category. The Argentinians have one bronze award and they can get one more medal. The Lithuanian lets a four-score sprint pass and it's hard to win back now. Argentine gets another bronze. Did Alejandro's yesterday's success help you? Yes, he win encouraged me so much. I tried to do my best. Alejandro told me that it was his day yesterday and today has to be mine. And I did it. I hadn't enough concentration, but I admit that Russian athlete is stronger today. It's important to say that our federation is like one huge family and every day we work together to achieve such a result. Everything is done and I'm content with the result. The atmosphere in the state is like on the Olympics. Fantastic atmosphere. We are grateful to those ones who organize such a sport festival. I'd like to thank Fias, particularly and personally Vasily Shestakov, for the support. We all are a huge family and will achieve the highest result together.
At the beginning, the French athlete Laura Fournier was leading at the final between her and Anastasia Arhipova up to minutes, and then she missed her opponent's kick, and the dream of gold had to be postponed till next time. Did you have chance to win the gold? Yes, I was very close to the gold medal. At the European Championship you were the second as well as here. Not bad, isn't it? Yes, it's not bad, but I'll get higher at the World Championship. In terms of organization, these are the best competitions I ever took part in. A very high level of the fans, too. It's nice that the team is supporting our athletes and the tribunes, too. A very warm meeting, support of all the tribunes. Whom would you like to say hello to? To my beloved man, my husband and my son, and to everyone who supported me. The quickest final that day was within the female category up to 68 kilo. Maria Mahnatkina led a flash-like attack and beat Lisa Gainudinova. But the 15-second record of Anna Haritonova wasn't overcome. After the first the second day, everybody returned with such emotions. Everybody said the audience supports greatly, and I felt by it myself today. The audience helps indeed. When you step on the carpet and they cry, there are new feelings for me. I've took part in many competitions in Europe and in the world, but I had no such feelings. It's a great holiday for Sambo. It's a historical moment and event for Sambo. It's for the first time that Sambo is represented in the World University. It's a departing point for being included in the Olympic family. We made a step that was so necessary for 75 years. It's our start position. The second is the perfect organization. I don't think anywhere such an organization will be reproduced. Sambo went down in history. It's for the first time participating in the university and we won our 100th medal, golden one. Of course, I'd like to mention the audience, their goodwill. They are supporting and worrying very warmly. They understand Sambo. Once I was lucky to become country champion in Kazan. Unfortunately, there weren't such possibilities then, and such an audience. Now it's easier to fight, even the walls help, and especially the spectators. I want to thank all our national federations, those who competed with us today, and who won gold and silver medal. Eighteen countries have medals. More than 21. I believe that 50% of the participating teams are being awarded. This kind of development shows that we are moving in the right direction. I want to say that it pleases me too. When there is just one medal winning country, it's no good. And today we have Argentina, Japan, Georgia, Armenia, Belarus, Mongolia, Italy, France. Almost the entire range of countries is present here, and they struggle for medals. In total there are 23 states who won medals during the tournament, and it's also a huge success of the International Federation of Sambo. At this university in Kazan, a greater medal geography could be shown only by International Association of Athletics Federations. We show the second result. And lastly, we offer several more opinions, but on behalf of the winners of the final day of competition. In many, many years, what you will remember about Kazan 2013? A tremendous support of the public and the organization. Everything was just great. 
I'm just for the first time on such competitions. It would be great if the World Championships and European Championships were similar. Fans are super. The excitement is great. The service is at the highest level, as well as medicine, food and accommodation. This is the appropriate level. I'm shocked. I have so much feelings towards the events and the audience. I don't speak Russian, but that what I hear and feel I'll remember for all my life long. Such things take place only once, I believe. So we finished our trip around the University 2013, where for the first time in the history of Sambo it made its debut. It's quite sad, but we have to say goodbye to this house, which belonged to Sambo athletes for three days. The stands emptied and the awards are gone. Every interviewed person spoke about the atmosphere among the audience, and now, on behalf of the program, we want to say thank you to the fans of Kazan, which have been on the state. You are unique. Farewell.